Hi, I'm Dee from Dee.net, and this is a video on how to oxidize copper or silver using liver of sulfur. Liver of sulfur is a chemical, also known as potassium sulfide, and you can buy it in solid form, which is then diluted in warm water, or you can buy it in liquid form, already mixed, which is what I'm using in this video. And I believe it's also available in a gel. Please remember to protect your clothing and I also recommend the use of gloves while handling liver of sulfur. Uh, it's a mild corrosive and even if it doesn't damage your skin, it will at least stain it. It'll also stain your clothes and any metal it comes into contact with. Also remember to work in a well-ventilated area because liver of sulfur smells terribly like rotten eggs. And inhaling the fumes can give you a headache or make you dizzy. It's not a terribly dangerous chemical, but it's always best to be safe. To start off, and if you want to follow the instructions, you warm some water uh, on your kettle or use um, hot tap water, um, which is usually enough. And then you pour some of the solution into the warm water. I don't do this because I feel it's wasteful. Uh, if you dilute it, you won't be able to use it again next time. Uh, so what I do instead is I use the solution straight from the bottle and I heat my metal by dipping it into hot water. Um, I'm going to show you the process step by step here. So I have this pendant on a chain and uh, it's made out of copper and I want to oxidize it. So I dip it into some warm water, not too hot because I don't want the um, um, shock of the, the temperature change to break my stone, which can happen to fragile stones. Um, and once the metal is, is warm, I put it into the container with my liver of sulfur solution. I move it around a bit to make sure that the solution covers all the metal and then I put it into another container with clean water and a bit of baking soda. This helps to stop the process. Then I take the pendant out of the clean water and put it in a paper towel to absorb. Another way to heat up your metal is to heat it with a torch. Instead of dipping it into hot water, you heat it directly if you have a torch. Uh, in this case, I'm using a micro hand torch, which is fine, because you don't need a lot of heat. Um, I poured the solution into a jar because once in a while I would drop the chain into the bottle and then it was held to take it out again. So now I just pour some into a jar I heat my metal with a torch and then put it into the solution. Copper reacts with liver of sulfur very quickly. It turns black almost immediately. So you don't need a lot of time on this. And once I'm done, I just pour the rest back into the, into the container. Um, and like this, I don't waste as much solution as if I would um, dilute it. Another method of heating up, instead of dipping it into the liquid, you can heat up the metal and then use a paintbrush to apply the liver of sulfur onto the metal. This is particularly useful if you don't want to oxidize the entire piece, but if you only want to do certain details. Um, once again, don't heat the metal too much, and I recommend 
um, a fire resistant brush because a normal paint brush will probably burn very quickly once it's in contact with the hot metal. After oxidizing, you need to clean your metal. There's always um, a black residue that you can see on the paper towels here, and it's also what has turned the, the water black in the container. It's not the water itself, it's just filled with this, these bits that have flaked off. Um, and that's not an issue because the, the metal itself um, reacts with the liver of sulfur and stays black, but some bits uh, do do come off. So you need to wash it properly and then rinse in um, clear water. Um, I'm doing it again with a pendant. I use a soft toothbrush and and some hand soap or regular dish uh, detergent. It's also fine. Uh, I rub it between my hands to make sure that everything comes off and then dip it in clean water to get the soap out before uh, cleaning it in a paper towel. This should prevent all the, the black from staining your skin later on. Another option, um, which I prefer, is to do it over the sink. Um, I use a bowl to cover the drain so that if I drop any small bits of metal, they won't go down the drain. They'll just stay there. It's, it's a lot safer that way. Um, also using the hands and the toothbrush to clean the metal. This was a coil that I'm going to cut into jump rings. Um, I usually oxidize it, the metal, after doing the pieces, but sometimes, um, you know, you can do it beforehand as well. Once I'm done, I put my bottle in a plastic bag so it won't leak, and then I put it in a paper bag to prevent um, sunlight from hitting directly, and then I store it in a box. You should keep it away from sunlight or else it'll lose its strength. You pour it into a jar and you leave it for a couple of days, it'll go clear, which means that it's not active anymore. And then you can just throw it away. Thank you for watching and until next time.